Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred on outside the lane. We lost 1-0 to Leicester. I've got Stu with me. Stu, half glass full kind of guy, but that's a, that's a kick in the guts, isn't it? Yeah, I'm disappointed. That was a big game, massive game for us, you know, and we, oh Christ. Again, corners, you know, how many corners do you want? 16, 17 corners? You know, at least Lamella was, Eric, Actually, you know. Can I, can I just say something about the corners, the attacking corners? It, struck me, it struck, strikes me as odd. I know people have been giving Ericsson stick for hitting the first man a lot, but we scored a lot of goals from whipping corners in towards the keeper at the near post. Today we whipped every corner pretty much, I think bar one or two, away from the goalkeeper. And every time Alderweireld was getting on the end of them, which he always does because his positioning and his, his run making is fantastic, he's about 14 yards out. It's, it doesn't strike me as the right move. No, we haven't got that, we haven't got that Teddy Sheringham, you know, harping back to the old days. I'm, I'm going to take a couple of positive things from today. Tom Carroll, I'm, I'm convinced the more he plays, I think the stronger he gets. So he's probably still a season or so before he's at his best. Maybe Dembele should have started from the... Can I just say, I like Tom Carroll a lot. You know I do. I try and be positive about him every time. But I just feel like sometimes in games like that where you're playing against teams who are big and they get men behind the ball and stuff, there are just too many times where he get, he's, he's going for a header where it would be on Dembele's chest. I, obviously, I know that Dembele would be first choice, but sometimes it's all, almost a matter of size. Well, today was a game of headers and volleys, wasn't it, really? I mean, they played the game. I mean, Ranieri, that was, it was a clash of two managers, wasn't it? I think Pochettino got it right from the start, but Ranieri, within about 10, 15 minutes, changed it, closed us down, that was great. Second half, I thought Pochettino got it right. I thought we came out, yeah, they had a couple of chances on the break, which suits Vardy, but then they changed Vardy. Yeah, I'd, I'd look, a virtuoso performance, I thought by Eric Dyer, as always, but who was meant to mark who for the corner, you know? Somebody, I didn't, he was on his own. Somebody went down, but I don't know, I'd have to see the replay. Uh, let's try and go positive, Sunderland at home next. Uh, we, we, last time we lost uh, Newcastle, we did three on the spin, three wins on the spin. That's what we need to do now, isn't it? This, this is really, but this is my um, whole thing on, on on the early kickoffs on a, on on the Saturday and on the Sunday. I think the further the, the wayside come from, the more the supporters are up for it. We come here, we, the supporters are really lethargic, you know, and we're not really into it. Tonight, I thought the crowd was brilliant. You know, we, we were actually up for this. I think we realised it was a big game, yeah. and it was. And it, look, it's, it's a shame that we've come away, we haven't got anything out of it, especially when others around us are dropping points. You know, look, come on, rewind the season, yeah. reality check, right? Yeah. We're a much better side. Yeah, yeah Leicester, they've done well, yeah. right? They, whether they finish up the top, I don't know, all right? But we'll be up there, yeah. as, as, as we've always done, but we deserve to be up there this season, yeah. you know, more so than, than ever. Do you not think, Barnaby? Yeah. I do, but also I'm going to say I thought Leicester deserved to win today because right. it's not about possession, and I felt they looked more dangerous on the attack. Come on, look, bring on the CU. Right, let's let's do them in the cup next week. Right? Get a bit yeah, yeah. yeah revenge. So I'll see yeah, you then. Revenge. Next week. All right, yeah. Stu. Guys, let us know what you thought of Stu's comments in the comment section below.